So ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome on SLTV Lab. My name is Mr. Shadrach Habumoni. Today we are going to see the anatomical plane and the movement that takes place within those anatomical plane. This is the beginning of anatomy. So you have to stick on this video so that it will be easy for you to understand other videos about anatomy. Good. The first plane is transverse or axial plane. So it makes like a cycle. So it divides the body into lower and upper part. So it cross-sects the body. That is transverse or axial plane. Another plane is sagittal plane. Sagittal plane it divides the body into right and left part. So it cross the body from posterior to anterior. It is called sagittal plane or median plane. So another plane is frontal plane or coronal plane. So it divides the body into the anterior and posterior part. So it moves from left to right or right to left. So and then divide the body into the frontal and back parts. Those are three planes. They are imaginary, you can see them. They are actually used in order to locate the body part or to describe the body part in an easy way or an anatomical way. Good. Now let's see the movement that takes place within those planes. The movements that take place within those planes. Let's start with the sagittal plane. The sagittal plane or median plane. So those movements should be forth and back. You remember that is the plane that divides the body into right and left part. Let's start with the first movement. There is a movement called flexion. That movement of flexion occurs at the shoulder, the elbow, at the waist, metacarp, pharyngeal joint, and the interpharyngeal joint on the upper rib. Good. This is the movement of the shoulder. So, this is the movement of the shoulder. This is the movement of, I mean, this is the, <coughs> so this is fraction of the shoulder. Shoulder it is this joint. This is fraction of the elbow. This is fraction of the waist. Then, this is fraction of metacarpopharyngeal joint, and these are fraction of the interpharyngeal joint. You see. Let's start. Fraction of the shoulder, good. Fraction of the elbow, fraction of the wrist, fraction of metacarpopharyngeal joint, fraction of the interpharyngeal joint. The opposite of this movement is extension. Here it was fraction of the shoulder. This is the extension of the shoulder. This was fraction of the elbow. This is the extension of the elbow. This was fraction of the wrist joint. This is the extension of the wrist joint. And so on. So on the lower rim, it occurs at the hip joint, the knee joint. This is called the ankle joint. The metatarsophalangeal joint. Good. This is hip flexion, hip extension. Knee, this is knee flexion, knee extension. Knee flexion, knee extension. Good. When we reach at the uh, ankle joint, I will discuss it more. Let's see if it will see it later. Good. Actually, those are the movements that take place within the sagittal or median plane. Let's see now the frontal or coronal plane. Those movements are medial to lateral. Good. Let's start from the shoulder. This is abduction. Away from the body. This is abduction. Then taking back to the body. That is adduction. This is abduction of the shoulder. Adduction of the shoulder. At the elbow, it cannot happen. But at, at this joint, wrist joint, look, this is adduction, abduction. At the fingers, when the fingers speed, that is abduction of the fingers, adduction. Abduction, 
abduction. You see? Abduction, adduction. Good. At the hip joint, this is abduction, this is adduction. Abduction, adduction. The toes as well. If the toes spread out, that is abduction of the toes. So, these are the movements that take place within the front or all sagittal prey. Good. Then let's see the transverse prey. What are the movements that occur in the transverse prey? Good. Look, there is a movement called pronation and supination. That movement takes place between the radius and the ulna. When the, you, this is an anatomical position. When you turn like this, that is pronation. Uh, pronation, the palm are facing back, are turning medially. When the palm are turning laterally, that is supination. Pronation, supination. When you do supination, the two bones which are within the forearm, they are parallel. But when you do like this, they make X like they close one another. That is pronation, supination. Good. There are other movements that we call circumduction. Those are the movements that occurs within all the prayers. Look at the shoulder. I'm doing this. So I'm combining both abduction, flexion, adduction and extension. You see, and I'm doing rotation. That is called circumduction. Circumduction. This movement can take place within the shoulder joint, the wrist joint, metacarpopharyngeal joint, and the hip joint. You see? This, this is circumduction. Circumduction. This is circumduction. This is circumduction. This is circumduction. You can see how it works. Good. These movements are taking place into all planes. There is, look, there is abduction, there is adduction, there is flexion, there is extension. You see, this is circumduction. Good. There are other special movements like art. Let's take the head. When the head bends forward, it is called flexion. Keep that in mind. When you do backward, that is called extension. Neck flexion, neck extension. Then when you bend it lateral, that is lateral flexion, lateral flexion. Then when you turn like this, that is rotation, rotation. Flexion, extension, lateral flexion, lateral flexion. This is rotation. Good. There is what we call lateral, lateral rotation. When you do like this, this is lateral rotation. This is lateral rotation. Good. Those are the movements that take place on the neck. So let's see now the trunk. When you bend forward like this, you are doing flexion, back flexion. When you do like this, you are doing extension. Flexion, extension, good. You see now, there are other movements that take place at the, uh, at the ankle joint and at the foot. Let's see the movement at the foot and the ankle joint. The ankle joint, it is this joint between the tibia and the foot. Good. This is called the ankle joint. So when you move the foot upward like this, upward, that is called dorsiflexion. When you move it downward, that is plantar flexion. Dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. So when you move the sole of the sole of the foot, the sole of the foot, this one, which is down, when you turn it inward, or medially, it is called inversion. Inversion. When you turn it laterally, it is called inversion. Inversion, inversion. Inversion, inversion. 
Quando eu sei, inversion, inversion. Dos, dos flexion, plantar flexion. Inversion, inversion. Good. And at the fingers, there is another movement. When you bring the tip of the thumb to other fingers, that is called opposition. 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 When you take the thumb back, that is a reposition. Opposition, reposition. Good guys, in brief, those are the movement that I can mention right now. So with time we'll see more things in anatomy. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and like the video. And why not send it to your colleagues so that they may get this information. May God bless you so much. Don't forget to please like, subscribe and the bell.